Hey guys, this is Cengiz. I am the co-founder of Kiss Me in Paris and I am Fran Baloney's business partner. Guys, we're so thrilled that you're watching. Now, we are asked all the time if there's something you can do to actually have a more amazing Paris photo session, right? You guys ask us what props should you be using? How should you pose? Is there anything you can do in terms of kissing better? We are Kiss Me in Paris. We actually want you to kiss amazing. Now, we've written a lot, we've talked a lot, but today what I want to do is briefly show you how to have an amazing Paris photo session. So, without further ado, guys, let me just actually switch over to our gallery. This is one of our galleries that you will find on our website. Now, what I'll do is just to kind of um, you know, give you guys a better view. I'm going to minimize myself here and put myself in the little corner here that you still know I'm talking with you, but essentially the focus should be on really the photos. Okay. So let me move myself over here and then we should be good to go. So right here at the outset, what you see is you actually see two happy people right at the top of our website. They are having fun. You can't fake happiness, right? So kind of bring your A game. There is uh, a two-way street. When it comes to amazing photos in Paris, you got to bring your A-game and really show the chemistry. Now, I know some of your culture is there. You guys don't want to display kissing in public. That is perfectly fine. That does not excuse you from not really bringing your chemistry, right? One thing that you'll see in the gallery right here is that chemistry is all about breathing on each other the connection, right? And that's what we're after. When you make our life easy, I promise you the photo will follow. So here you go. This is at sunrise, what we call the golden hour in Trocadero, which is the natural entrance point to all things Eiffel Tower. We typically would meet at Café Cadet and walk about two minutes and get a spot at the Eiffel Tower. Now, this is a very popular spot, probably one of the most popular spots in all of Paris. So it is in our best interest to show up on time. Do not be late, guys. Rather wait in the dark for two, three minutes and be the first to arrive than actually uh, wait in line for other photographers to finish. Here what you'll see is a stunning photo at the Louvre Museum in the evening. This is shortly after the blue hour, but it is absolutely spectacular. You see that the red dress really pops, right? We're asked all the time what colors work well on photos. Well, red is an obvious choice. You can also kind of see right here that the gentleman right here is wearing a beautiful flower uh, to kind of go with her dress. I love that little touch. And essentially, this is a very editorial photo at night. Again, remember, it takes a little bit longer for setup, so you will get a little bit less net photography coverage, but Paris at night is simply amazing. It's a lot of fun. It's super romantic. And that is oftentimes where the magic happens. Now, let's keep on going. When you come to Paris, you do expect great cafes. And in this particular photo here, uh, we, we just asked the couple to be a little bit playful, kind of get into character. And, you know, she's heading towards meeting him at the cafe shop. Okay. Really, this is kind of what we call the locations in between the locations, the ones you don't plan for. But when you see them, you just take advantage of them. Here you will see uh, a beautiful shot uh, by Fran. Uh, captured around sunrise. Again, the red dress pops like magic. I love that little spacing that the groom has in between his arms. That can make the entire difference, especially if you're still early in the morning, you have a little bit, a little bit of backlight and you have a silhouette potential. Look at how she's softly lifting her dress and the symmetry to the Eiffel Tower is absolutely incredible. This is on the one hand, the photographer's job to kind of direct you a little bit left and right, but essentially this is the perfect photo, you know, that says it all. Iconic. This can be a, uh, a thank you card, you know, for maybe after a wedding. This could be an invitation card after your pre-wedding shoot, or you might just want to frame this in large print on your wall or anywhere and gift it. Uh, the next one is a real proposal, guys. I shot this photo. I love the energy here. A couple who just wants to have fun. And don't forget, you know, this is obviously one of the most iconic and important moments in a couple's life, but really don't forget to have fun. My suggestion is before you get down on a knee and ask her to marry you, look her in the eyes, make sure she understands what you're about to do, then take one little step backwards because you need to leave a little bit of spacing before you propose, get down on a knee, look her in the eyes and uh, put the ringer on, on, on her finger. Here, again, you see red pops so beautifully. I would have loved to see a champagne bottle in the groom's hand, but that juxtaposition of her softly uh, looking at him, she looks deeply in love, 
and lifting her dress just really adds a little bit. Very editorial. Again, only doable at sunrise, guys. You will never find Trocadero like this during the day. Here, this is just a little detail shot that really says a lot. It's very symbolic to see the rings. You can see her wedding dress in the background. This is right after the wedding. Here again, Trocadero around sunrise. This is right when you walk down the second set of these stairs around Trocadero. I love her hat. Love how playful they are and you can feel the chemistry. Here we have a classic bridal portrait with a gorgeous bouquet. Uh, you see the shadow details in the dress. So important, guys. You don't want to blow them out. If you have a $30,000 dress like she has as a couture dress, then you want to make sure that we see the shadow details. Here, this is in the Tuileries Gardens, a beautiful black and white photo. Uh, love her outfit, right? The shoes perfectly match her dress. This is a Giambattista Valli. A couture dress and the groom just really plays along well. If you catch a shadow on the ground, I'm normally not a big fan of this harsh light, this direct light, the shadows that it casts, but in this case we did it really well and we played around with it. Here again what I mean with locations in, in between locations and props is we found a dog just while walking through Paris, a couple, and I we asked the owner of the dog if we could have the dog because the couple just happens to love dogs and Sure enough, they were kind enough to let us have the dog. We played around with it, and it was a little bit of a slice of life type of photo. Here, um, absolutely stunning editorial photo of a really, really amazing couple, one of my favorite uh, shots in the gallery, actually. Um, props, this is cool, guys. Props really work, right, if they are within character. So um, what we have here is balloons. We have certain recommendations. You can head on over to our FAQ and continue reading on our service pages. We actually have some links to where you can get these cool props. And props are not for everybody. Props are supposed to help you connect with each other. And if the props are within character, it will help you actually um, avoid camera awareness, the, the camera awareness you don't want. However, if a prop is not within character for you, what's gonna happen? It's gonna distract you from actually naturally connecting with your loved one and achieve the opposite effect. So make sure that the prop that you choose is creative and within character for you as a couple. Now, here we have the Beer Hakim Bridge in the early evening. This is before the blue hour, so not quite blue hour yet. Twilight, we love twilight. Um, you see the symmetry right here in, in, in the lanterns. That's of course the photographer's job to put you in the right place and symmetry is unforgiving here. You'll hear that all the time. But if you pull it off properly, this is one of the most beautiful spots in Paris. I love this one actually for proposals. I like it in at any time of the day really. This is the bridge where, where you actually had Leonardo DiCaprio's Inception movie filmed. And some of you might recognize that it actually really shoots so differently from any perspective you use. Absolutely brilliant. Now here, you know, this photo is interesting because we essentially have no sky on this photo, but yet it's so beautiful. And I feel like what really makes it beautiful is that pop of color in her outfit. Yellow works tremendously. It's one of my favorite gowns in, in the entire gallery. So here, what I don't like is how the gentleman is bending over too much. It's almost like a bit uncomfortable and unnatural, but I do love how she's really lifting her dress up and the dress is so, stun is so stunning that I couldn't resist and we had to put it in the gallery. Here you have a classic uh, silhouette, uh, a, you know, at sunrise, at Trocadero again. And when you do silhouettes, guys, here are a few tips. Uh, you have to observe the spacing, the harmonious spacing in between your bodies. If they were together, uh, what would happen is they would look like a big clump instead of beautiful uh, contours of their body. Uh, what also hap it, you know, helps is when you have tightly fitted attire like the gentleman's pants, uh, her outfit, and you know the way they're even standing really really helps because believe me if they're not perfectly parallel sandwiched in between, in between the Eiffel Tower and the photographer it will not be as beautiful. In addition we love how her hair is in a bun right here uh, because it again it, it accentuates her head. We love it when you can put your head uh, your hair up in a bun uh, for the silhouettes you can open it right afterwards guys. Make sure to breathe on each other I can totally feel the chemistry here and uh, you don't, you know, it doesn't take much more than that. It's a pretty easy photo. 
This one is a little bit more difficult, but the reason this silhouette looks so special is because it's right after the rain. You can see how wet the street, the, the ground is, the surface right at the Louvre Museum. These are indeed the pyramids. Uh, one of my personal favorite locations. Silhouette again. Don't let the gentleman bend over too much towards her. Remember, unless he's dipping her, what we're looking for is a equal um, you know, engagement, really equal engagement. That's what it takes. But what we do like is their spacing is pretty good. His uh, feet could be positioned just a touch better, maybe not touching her feet, but otherwise it is pretty perfect. Now here you'll see an excellent silhouette. This is right on the courtyard, right when you cross through from the pyramids of the Louvre to the courtyard. Again, absolutely textbook silhouette. The hair could be up in a bun, but I love how her heels, her tightly fitted attire and his just look amazing. And again, they don't have to do much. Just make sure that you guys are parallel between the backdrop and your photographer. Of course, you want to have light in the background. Here is a killer silhouette. This is actually at sunset. So this one will work amazingly right before the blue hour. It's orange. So you're like, blue hour? Yeah. It actually turns into a blue hour right afterwards. You see the pyramid of the Louvre in the background. And you're like, well, where are the people? Well, this is the trick. When you work with Kiss Me in Paris, we will show you exactly the locations and the angles to make things perfect. Here you can actually see an exception to the hair in the bun theory because her hair is like everywhere. But for some reason, the contours of her face are beautifully visible. So are his. I love his outfit, love his shoes. Like every single inch here matters when we shoot these photos. If his foot were, if his back foot were just a touch more in the building, it would no longer be a powerful photo. Here, another crazy silhouette. You know, you have to be able to shoot these photos. Takes a little bit of luck, takes the perfect lighting. And it's very, you know, we have to shoot this from far away to get the whole pyramid. And it takes some instruction even before you get into position. And we're always hoping that no people walk into the photo. Here, you know, during the summer months, there's a big fair, big market with a Ferris wheel right around the Louvre pyramids. And uh, it's just so fun, right? So if you're a fun loving couple, make sure to let us know in the summer and we can actually incorporate the fair and some of the rides into your shoot. It is just spectacular. Here, classic photo, right? Um, black and white, kind of iconic, you know, with the Eiffel Tower right in between them. A very fierce look, you know, they're not breathing on each other, but that is perfectly fine for this look. Here we're in the Tuileries Gardens. Again, one of my favorite, personal favorite locations in Paris, and he's carrying her. When you carry somebody and she's not wearing, when she's wearing a dress and she, her skin is exposed, make sure not to pinch her skin with your hand because it's hard to edit afterwards. And have fun, guys. She has her hand close to his heart. He's loving it. They're just in their own little world. And you can see the Louvre in the background, the facade and the beautiful trees. One of my favorite locations. This photo is one of our most pinned photos. And if you're creating a Pinterest board, make sure to grab it as well. And, um, you know, just have some fun. So this is usually what we would do after she accepts the ring, after she says yes. And you guys actually walk your first steps as fiance and fiance. I know that's, that's a goosebump moment. It sounds incredible. Um, bring a beautiful box, you know, for your ring if you're going to come, come up with a shot like this. Uh, right now we're looking at the Palais Royal, which only works at sunrise like this. Otherwise, it will be way too many people. This environment has a rare combination of elegance and fun factor. So these little blocks that you see in the background, if you were to move further to the left of the photo, you would see they can go pretty high and um, they're very playful and fun, but it can also be a very elegant location where we can incorporate the columns that you see in the background and make a great photo out of it. Here, it's about props that are within character. This is the type of photo you want to send out as an invite uh, for the wedding. Maybe you want to frame it. Maybe you want to even announce your uh, engagement like this, right? Very, very powerful. Um, here, it's about bringing your A-game. If you're a bride wearing Christian Louboutin shoes, four or five inch heels, and you're willing to run, then that itself is enough, you know, enough proof that you truly, truly want to have fun and care about your photos and your photo sessions because, you know, not everybody would do it. And we love people in couples who just really come prepared and give all. Um, here, the next shot, a little bit of luck, you know, to just capture that right through the wings of the bird. Love that, how you got the kiss in the backdrop. Uh, the dip looks just a touch uncomfortable and unnatural, but I do love the 
the lighting, uh, you know, at sunrise, you have to be one of the first people to feed these birds, otherwise they will no longer be hungry. And that is a big deal, because if they're not hungry, they will not elevate into the air, and they will just literally ignore your clapping or however you intend to scare them away. Um, here, you know, a detail shot right after he proposed, you want to capture the beautiful ring while it's clean, hope that the fingers are beautiful manicured, and you might have a classic Parisian cafe backdrop. Here we're in the Tuileries Gardens, but this photo can literally be pulled off about anywhere. It's about chemistry, how she's looking at him, how he's breathing on her, and we love it. Here is a prop that is just priceless, very Parisian, by the way, you know, to have this um, pink cotton candy. You can get it at the fair, you can get it near the Eiffel Tower, near the carousel, There's probably, you can get it pretty much anywhere and it works, right? It's not for everybody, but look at how it matches his socks and it just it just somehow works perfectly. Here, um, you know, evening shoot, lighting is important. You absolutely, for the blue hour and the evening shots, you need an associate for two reasons, guys. First of all, this lighting can only be achieved if you have continuous light sources. That an associate has to hold for us. Uh, if you were to use flash, you will lose the background. It will turn black. It will no longer maintain its vibrancy and you will not achieve that incredible world-class effect that you see. In this particular case, I think we even have two lights because I'm actually, um, you know, one of us is holding the lights from the other side. You can see a backlight on the gentleman's hair, plus there's a light in the front. That's why you achieve these extraordinary results. Again, it takes some investment from you guys because the associates, they cost you money, they cost us money, but they are well worth it. And the second benefit is that you can actually connect in peace of mind and really enjoy each other and you're not worried about theft, which is a big issue in Paris if you're not paying attention. People will literally run away with your goods and that's what we don't want to happen. Here again, blue hour, a little bit towards the tail end of the blue hour, it's already getting darker, um, but very dreamy how they're both looking in a common future. This is at the Beer Hakim Bridge and um, it's one of the most beautiful views again of the Eiffel Tower. Now here's something that we just do better than any studio, and I don't want to be bragging, but it's true. Uh, we actually are probably the only people in the world who get these uh, Moulin Rouge shots with no people in there because you need, it, it takes, it literally takes a lot and a lot of courage from both the couple and us to make this work, right? We're asking uh, a massive public audience to step aside and kind of yield the floor to us. We get the champagne, we have some fun, if you're into a champagne shot, guys, it takes a certain personality, amazing fun. We have a reason to celebrate. When you're in Paris, usually you have a great reason to celebrate. I will teach you or Fran will teach you or Adrita will teach you or anybody whom you're shooting with will teach you how to pop a champagne for photos. There is half art, half science, but it's important that you do it right. Um, here again, absolutely stunning photo at night. Um, and you can see the bridge in the background. This is the Beer Hakim Bridge, and somebody's lighting her up from the back, which is important. You can kind of see the hair light in behind her, and that helps a lot, right? Kind of make sure that the, the luminosity is similar to the Eiffel Tower that you can expose for the face, but don't blow out or underexpose the Eiffel Tower. And here, beautiful, again, the blue hour. We have tons of blue hour shots. I'll just kind of skip over them, but again, you see the champagne, how fun it is. And yes, I did get wet, we did get wet, it's completely normal. We will literally get our outfits wet and dirty for you if you bring your A-game. We're here to help you make sure you get a killer photo. Um, this is at the Louvre Pyramids. You've got to be lucky a little bit to get a, a day without much wind, but if you do, there is like unlimited possibility for reflections. Again, the Louvre Pyramid right around the blue hour towards the tail end of the blue hour. Um, here, two people having fun. And this is on the bridge leading over from the whole Trocadero area to the Eiffel Tower. Only you can do that on at sunrise again when there are very few cars on the street. And again, it takes a couple with a lot of courage to bring their A-game, have fun. You can't fake the happiness right here. They're just having fun. So what we do here is we're making things real. And when we ask you guys to run, uh, again, we will give you directions on the day, but don't just like gallop a little bit and fake it, you know, bring your A game. If you're going to do it, do it right. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. And we're putting the risk out there. We're laying in the middle of the street to get this very low vantage point that you see in the photo. And it's only worth it for us to get dirty and risk ourselves if you're going to really want to get a world-class photo out of it. Here, love the connection again. Tuileries Gardens, guys, so beautiful in any time of the year. Same here on a bench in the Tuileries Garden. Looks a little bit more like a winter shot. I love his red socks, 
they just look amazing. And here, this is along the Seine Riverbank. So uh, that is one of the most underrated locations of all that's near Notre Dame. And you will um, have almost an infinite possibility of locations. Not iconic locations. Of course, there will be a few with Notre Dame Cathedral in the backdrop. But for the most part, uh, it's really the, the locations in between the locations, which are very beautiful. Here, it's about soft kiss. It's about sensual. It's about connection, chemistry, and we love it. A little prop that is within character here, guys. Maybe she just got proposed to and somebody wanted to really bring their A-game, a very thoughtful groom, and here, sure enough, they spell amour, okay? Here, right after she says yes, maybe he has a gift for her. Again, this is a very similar concept to the um, image that I showed you earlier in the day, and this one could probably be accomplished any time of the day because um, you can see the torso is cut off right here. The tower is very blurred, so this is really a long focal length shot, a little bit from an angle, and I don't feel like, you know, this has to be sunrise. This can be pretty much any time of the day. We've already talked about the birds. Again, it takes a little bit of luck, but it takes a couple who is not scared of birds. Here, gorgeous dress color, gorgeous umbrella. Symmetry is absolutely unforgiving. Look at them right in the middle, and it's just a phenomenal shot. Again, got to be a little bit lucky. Look at this. There's no sunshine, no, no harsh shadows or anything to the left or right. This is the best light. So if you're ever worried uh, you know, about a weather report, never stress the weather report. is anyway never accurate. Certainly not a few days or weeks leading up to your uh, arrival in Paris. And here, what you're really looking for is an overcast sky. That is when you get the most beautiful photos and saturated colors. When you're in Paris, you want to get a cafe shot. This is in Quartier Latin. And this is actually right next to the uh, iconic Lip uh, Cafe, L-I-P-P, -P, and you will see it in one of our other photos. Here, this is kind of your honeymoon carry-off. Again, that famous bridge going from Trocadero to the Eiffel Tower, only doable at sunrise. Love that, you know, she's showing the bottom of her Louboutin shoes, the texture of her dress. Absolutely beautiful. Here's a parent pleaser, something you would gift to your grandma or maybe even frame yourself. And it's a classic, very simple portrait at the... Uh, Louvre and here balloons. We've talked enough about them again at Trocadero only doable at sunrise That is why by the way guys when you ask us, okay Can we have a one hour or 30 minute sunrise shoot that doesn't work because we're always booked out every single morning of the year We're booked out for Trocadero So if this is really an important shot for you, you better get on our calendar as soon as possible We have a minimum commitment of two hours just because it's such a popular slot and we want people to we want to reward them, people who are willing to invest into their uh, shoot, both financially, but also like in terms of two or three or more hours, but certainly who prepare well, bring their A-game, they're dressed well, they bring their props, they, they bring their fun factor, they're there to celebrate. This year is right near the Palais Royal, classic parent pleaser, can't go wrong with that, very clean, very flattering, and it works in any weather because it's covered. Uh, here, you know, something iconic, symbolism, uh, two gentlemen holding hands, love their matching bracelets, love their matching outfits. It totally works for me. This is, again, only possible at sunrise, guys. When you walk up the stairs, you're kind of walking up towards a common future. It's not an uphill battle, but it's like really we're going up together. Beautiful shot, pretty easy to get if there are no people in the way. Look at the eye contact, that is spectacular. Here, you know, again, a shot you can pretty much get any time of the day. Just make sure you're not scared of heights and make sure that there are no people trying to grab your purses and gear when you're not looking. Props that are within character, L-O-V-E, and fun, fun couple. We love fun couples, and um, you can tell, you know, you just can't fake this happiness. Here again, great place to run. I would have liked to see a little bit of a lower vantage point that we cut off that fence. That fence could be gone depending on when you arrive at what time of the year. And then here, great eye contact, super sweet. Beautiful, beautiful love. And here again, the Birhagen Bridge. What did we talk about? There are so many different perspectives of the same bridge. So if you want incredible photo variety, but you only have one hour, the Birhagen Bridge is totally for you. Um, here, you know, Acte Triomphe, maybe or maybe not worth it, but it is beautiful. It is iconic. It is a one in a world, um, you know, monument. Obviously, it's been copied quite a lot in Rome and New York, etc. But this is the most beautiful one. Here, again, this one was shot uh, at the bottom of Trocadero near the cannons where the water is. 
and a couple who just brings their A-game has fun. We've looked at this dress already. We loved it. Here's the blue hour. Super, super intense. Um, you just get these, these skies in Paris and it's just absolutely unbelievable. Here at the Louvre Triangle, we, you know, Louvre, Louvre Pyramid, we've kind of talked about this. Silhouettes are important, guys. If he were kissing her totally, you would miss that little spacing in between and it wouldn't be as beautiful. You can see the carousel in the background, which indicates it's sometime during the summer months. And here, of course, wow. You know, how do you not say wow to such a photo? That is a world-class photo. Beautiful silhouette, incredible lighting, and the balloons just are blowing perfectly in the right direction. Absolutely amazing. Here, classic cafe shot in Paris. Here is at the Fouquet's Hotel. And yeah, you know, if you're in Paris, it's okay to smoke as long as it's stylish, as long as it's within character for you. Have your macarons, have your hot chocolate. This is at Café Carrette, one of the best café and macaron places in all of Paris. You can see Notre Dame in the background here through the window. A little bit tougher to get this location, but we can make it happen for you. Louvre in the rain here, beautiful shot, absolutely. And again, the only time you'll get no people is if you have rain or if there are, you know, if it's sunrise. And we can go on and on, guys. These, oh, this one I actually do want to go over. Um, this is kind of bringing your um, A game in public, not worrying about public perception and not worrying about judgment. Don't ever go home again and think you could have done a little bit more. It really takes two to tango, us to really, really capture this photo, and you guys to bring your A game. She's just really wearing his uh, shirt and her panties and long heels, and in Paris, you can get away with it. Um, along the Seine Riverbank, remember I promised you guys there are infinite locations, and this is just one of them. Beautiful flattering sunlight at Trocadero. And here again, you know, we, we're, we're seeing some reputation, but this red just pops. And sometimes what you don't see is what makes the photo so exciting. So we're left to guess what happens underneath the umbrella. And again, look at her pose. Very beautiful how she uh, puts her, puts the front, the tip of her shoe softly on the ground. This here is at Montmartre at night. And I love this photo. It is so Parisian. One of our favorite cafes. And right afterwards, you can totally go get a nice um, caricature drawn if you like, and enjoy the highest spot of all of Paris. Love their connection right here. Looks pretty cool to me, um, but you know, a cafe just warms you up. This one is totally awesome. Again, the Beer Hacking Bridge from a very different vantage point. We took this photo because the orange of that biker who just drove right around her dress works beautifully. You can see, you know, her dress probably got dirty. It's wet out there. Either you bring it or you don't. You cannot come and just say, okay, I don't want my dress to get dirty, but I still want world-class photos. Sometimes you just gotta uh, leave it out there. Here again, the Beer Hacking Bridge. Look at the difference, right? This is the same bridge, same position, but very different perspective. This is a wide angle through the legs of the gentleman. This looks like a post-wedding shoot. And here, you know, this again looks like a wedding or post-wedding shoot, but with a zoom lens from a very different vantage point. Absolutely stunning, the variety. Here, we sometimes can actually get into Tiffany's and other famous locations, but most of the time you will need a permit. You will need to have some connections to make things happen. But if you can, oh my God, look at the gorgeous Louboutin shoes and the signature blue of Tiffany's as they're walking in the Parisian flagship uh, Tiffany shop. Here, you can see we had some fun at Montmartre and had a caricature drawn. Why not? Right? A memory you'll probably never forget for the rest of your life. One of our favorite hot chocolate places, guys. You can't come to Paris and not go to Angelina, so make sure to uh, check this one out. This is actually um, the outdoor location, and you can just walk in and also have a nice cafe. We usually wrap up shoots around the Tuileries Garden or the Louvre Museum or Palais Royal and go to Angelina for a quick debrief and just to say thank you to everybody, okay? Here again, Tuileries Gardens. Here we have a couple who has fun. This is not for everybody. It doesn't have to be silly, guys. That depends on your personality. We do anything from intimate, we do love, we do sexy, we do fun, we do silly, we do everything in between. And here again, balloons. When you do a lift like this, grab her from right below the butt. Um, and for her, it's very difficult because she has to literally bring her uh, leg in a 90 degree angle. Not easy, guys. And one thing that usually helps here, she's really not doing it much, but is to brace her weight a little bit on his shoulder. It's not as easy as you look. And look at how she moved her hair out of her face. 
take your time, take a breath, get it right, don't wing it. It looks absolutely spectacular. I like the colors he's wearing and um, the balloons that go perfectly with it. Here's that cafe lip that I told you guys about. Uh, very iconic location. Her dress is just stunning. Again, Jean Battista Valley Haute Couture and her purse goes perfectly with it. Um, and then here, you know, a classic wedding portrait and macaron shots. We can't get enough. Champagne, we can't get enough. Blue doors are everywhere in Paris. This would make for, again, good parent pleaser to give to grandma or mother and more balloons. And here, uh, one of our favorite macarons. This is from Pierre Armé. So they're probably some of the most delicious and award-winning macarons and not as commercial as La Durée, maybe not quite as rich as Carette, but they have most flavors. Here we're up there again getting a portrait done um, at Montmartre. You see, we like to do that quite often. Beautiful shot, and guess where this is? This is again the Beer Hacking Bridge. What did I tell you? Infinite variety. And that's it already. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you found this very valuable. If you have more questions, obviously just read our services pages. If you need additional assistance, contact us via our live chat or our contact form. We'd love to be uh, in Paris with you and make sure that you get equally or even more amazing photos. Thank you so much and can't wait to see what you guys come up with.